hello guys welcome to solving solutions on brand channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine seven in class again today how have we been on today's tutorial we are going to use um, the global mapper software to carry out um, ndvi which is the normalized difference vegetation index right good so this index is used for assessing vegetation health and density using um, satellite imagery so for this landsat it imagery we have here the um, bands that are required are the near infrared and then the red right good so these two bands will be used to calculate what the ndvi that will help us to assess the vegetation health and density right good so for landsat 8 the near infrared is band 5 and then the red is what band 4 so the formula is um, near infrared minus red divided by the near infrared plus what red right good so the first thing we need to do is to assess um, the raster calculator so we can come to analysis on the analysis we can see what the raster calculator right good so we have we can apply formula to generate them um, different stuff so select the raster image layers to apply the formula to in order to create a new layer now all of them are checked we can decide to clear all and then only select um, band 5 and then band 4 right good because those are the two bands that we are going to need for our analysis right good so we click on ok so for the layer description let's give it um, ndvi and then um, for the formula there are predefined formulas right good for different um, operations so let's um, search for ndvi we have our ndvi yeah right good for landsat 8 so if we remember the formula that is here this 4 minus 6 and 4 plus 6 so if we or let's say where we select ndvi for landsat 8 the formula would um, definitely change to what 5 minus 4 divided by 5 plus 4 which corresponds with what the formula for ndvi that um we have actually predefined the right good band 5 minus band 4 divided by band um, 4 plus um, band 5 band 5 plus band 4 rather are we together so the um, global mapper software having selected the index you want to carry out um, gives you the formula or automatically displays the formula right good so but if per adventure the formula is not displayed you can also what um, add your custom formula and then under the custom formula it can include operators like um, plus minus different operators logarithmic operators you know statistical operators and you can also reference to what the bands using what b1 b2 right good as well as um, any number or z value for what elevation right good that's if perhaps the operation you want to carry out is not predefined here right good so you can also write your custom formula now since we have our 5 minus 4 and 5 plus 4 here yeah, we can decide to add it right good so we have added what our band and then the formula to be to be this right good now for the set output grid settings we are going to look at the shader that's the output um, how the shaders are going to be when it has been outputted so we should um, use it drop down if perhaps um, the ndvi shader was not selected now since it's selected and we have um, fixed what the formula let's click on ok so um, select the input band for band 4 we are going to select band 4 okay it's selected and then for band 5 we are going to select band 5 and it's also selected right good so these are the two bands that um, we have used for building or we have used to build our formula right good so so we can click on okay the formula has been applied right good so we have the output here for the ndvi and then remember it assesses what the vegetation health and um, density um, using satellite um, images right good so you can see from the ramp here we have um, different colors okay let's just put these ones out good so we can see deeper green values and um, representing what i vegetation index and then Coming down to some lighter, should we call this um, tan, um, representing what um, lower vegetation index, right? Good. So 
the closer it is to one, the denser what um, the or the more healthy the vegetation. And then the closer it is to zero or maybe negative shows what how unhealthy the vegetation is, right? Good. So yeah can be seen or yeah is um, visibly some water bodies, right? Good. And then we can see some from the color ramp that some the green is having different shades, right? Good upwards. And then we have about 0.68 as well, the highest. So the closer it is to one, the better the vegetation. And then the closer it is to zero, what the lower the vegetation health, right? Good. So we have shown you using a um, global mapper how to um, calculate the NDVI or how to calculate NDVI using what your Landsat 8 um, image, right? Good. So you can proceed with whatever analysis you want to um, with your product right good so you can rightly export if you want to you select the layer you right click you come to layer and then you export layers to a new file right so select the export format you use the drop down to see different um, options that um, are available um, but um, we would want to use them um, duty right good so we just um, select okay the default YouTube that is here. Click on OK. Click on OK. Click on OK. Good. So we are on the folder of choice. We have NDVI. So let's also call this um, NDVI underscore global mapper. Right. Good. And we save. Good. So we have outputted. And then here is the output, right? Good. We have um, NDVI underscore global mapper. So thanks for coming to class. We open. We have provided solution to this particular solving just remote sensing related problem. We are going to see you on the next tutorial. Ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.